Hey guys, Michael here. Um, earlier in the week we heard about the Nokia N950 having the lock screen um, bypassed by button mashing on the keyboard. So there's been a video going around where it pretty much shows someone getting into your phone, um, but that is semi untrue um, because I'll button mash here and I'll show you how you can't actually do anything because the phone locks itself again instantly. Well, not instantly, but not giving you enough time to do anything. So as you can see, there you go. Straight away, it's locked again. So I'll just take this here for a second. I'll unlock and I'll show you that I've actually got this to set at a delay of five minutes. So Obviously, that was way less than five minutes that it auto-locked itself after the lock screen crashed, which is nowhere any enough time to do anything. Um, pretty much the only thing I've been able to do is unlock the phone, tap settings, and by the time I tap settings, it locks itself again. So I'm not sure if the N950 that um, had been demoed on had PR 1.3, but mine does, if you can see there, it's got PR 1.3. So um, I'm assuming whatever um, software version the other N950 was running was a version earlier to this because there's absolutely no problems on this as you just saw. So I'll go in, I'll change it back to no delay so I can show you instantly. The sun just went down. Sorry about the lighting there, guys. I should take it here and enter my code. All right, so as you can see there, no delay. Um, so I'll just lock it, unlock, pull out the keyboard, button mash. Yes. So if, there you go. By the time it actually took me even to turn the um, and 950 around, like changed the orientation, it had already locked itself. So clearly there's nothing you can do. Um, yeah, you bypass it, but within two seconds it's locked again. So I don't think it's a flaw. Um, it's just someone trying to make up for the shortcomings of iOS and Android. Um, so thanks for watching guys, take care.